behind the quarterback. It's a pitch to Ward, and he's going to throw, and it's back to Bowler. Bowler's got it at the 10, to the 5. He cuts in. Touchdown, Bears! Hey, listen up. All I want to know, is anyone surprised about that? Hell, Hell no! I've never experienced this before. You know, I, I really don't know how to act because <laughs> I ain't never been 3-0 at Cal, beating ranked teams. You know, it's a new feeling. All I want to know, 74,000! Disappointed fans! 74,000! Disappointed fans! 74,000! Disappointed fans! Right to you, baby! Welcome to the Cal Sports Magazine. I'm Mike Pulaski. Well, at 2-0, the Bears opened their young season with their first real test as they played Michigan State back in East Lansing. Let's take a look at first half's action. Last Saturday, Jeff Tedford led his Golden Bears into their toughest game of the year, a road matchup with number 15 Michigan State and 74,000 screaming Spartan fans. Kick is in the air. Despite being a two-touchdown underdog, the Bears strike first. And Powell cuts to his left. He's got some walls out there. If he can get up one more block, he's up the sideline to the 40. It's a long race down the sideline. If they got the angle, no. 10, 5, touchdown Bears. Oh, what a bonanza. How about that by Jameel Powell? I made one dude miss, and then it was just running to the sideline. I didn't even have to make nobody else. And everybody was working hard to, to help me get that run, man. That's on, that's on them. That wasn't me. I was just running down the field. I just <laughs> uh, ran left. And Jermaine one dude ran left, man. That was all on them, all blocking. The 90-yard punt return is the fourth longest in Cal history and gives the Golden Bears a 7-0 lead. Michigan State looks to answer right back as Dewan Moss rumbled for 25 yards into Cal territory. And then the potent Big Ten tandem of Jeff Smoker to Charles Rogers takes it to the Cal, too. But Cal's big play defense shows up on the road as Matt Nixon recovers the first of three MSU fumbles on the day. The Cal offense can't get started early in the game, and the Spartans threaten again as Smoker and Rogers team up to go deep into Cal territory. But once again, the Cal defense comes up big to stop the Spartan threat as Jamal Cherry drives Smoker back 14 yards on the sack. He still can't find anybody open. He starts to run again. He rolls to his right. He's being grabbed, and he's dropped way back at the 18-yard line by Cherry. What an effort by the Cal defense. And then James Bethea gets the pick, and Michigan State comes up empty. Pass toward the goal line. Bethea intercepts. He's got it at the three, and he's hauled down at the five. And twice now, the Bears inside the five-yard line have forced the turnover. Oh. How about this? Oh, oh, oh. And are these fans upset? Yes. While the Cal offense continues to struggle, the Cal front four take matters into their own hands. The safety puts Cal up 9-0. And it's taken by Ward at the 15-yard line. He moves in the middle of the field, and he cuts to the outside, still on his feet, moves across the 45, still running. He gets to the 40. He's still running. He's to the 35. He runs over another man. He's at the 28-yard line, and Cal football is back. This is some of the most hard-nosed, aggressive, tough college football playing I've seen in Berkeley in many a year. The 57-yard kickoff return from LaShawn Ward sets the Bears up on the 30 but the Bear offense can't quite get rolling. Tom Swoboda just misses a touchdown catch, so Mark Jensen sets up for a career-long field goal. There's the snap, there's the kick, it has the distance. Has he got 51 yards? He does! The field goal by Jensen is good. 51 yards, and Cal's lead goes to 12 to nothing here in the second quarter. 
Special teams continues to shine for the Bears as Donnie McCleskey comes up with yet another Spartan turnover. And the Bears are set up inside the MSU 20. But penalties drive the Bears backwards. And once again, Cal settles for a field goal and a 15-0 lead. With less than three minutes in the half, the Bears finally begin a touchdown drive. An early hit by the MSU secondary draws a flag, and two plays later, the Bears are in the end zone. Sean Ward goes in motion behind the quarterback. It's a pitch to Ward, and he's going to throw, and it's back to Bowler. Bowler's got it at the 10, to the 5, he cuts in, touchdown Bears! California scores on another gadget. Another gadget, by the way, that Jeff Tetford told Lee and I about early in the week. When I threw it, initially I thought the end, because he looked at me and I was like, oh, I didn't put enough air in it, but then Kyle made the catch and I seen him make the little juke move at the end and he scored and I was happy. Just got the ball at the top and I caught it. And I knew the DB probably thought I was going to go out, so I kind of gave him a little move and I just, you know, scored. I saw the zone I had to get in. Kyle Bowler's touchdown catch puts Cal on top 22-0. On the ensuing kickoff, the Cal special teams shine again as Mike McGrath's huge hit causes another Michigan State turnover. With just a few ticks left in the half, Mark Jensen calmly puts three points on the board and Cal goes into the locker room on top, 25 to nothing. So the Bears play a great first half of defense and control the first half. We'll see what they look like in the second half when we come back on the Cal Sports Magazine. Cal Football 2002 continues this Saturday at Memorial Stadium as the Bears match up with Air Force. Individual and season tickets are available at calbears.com or call 1-800-GO-BEARS. So after a half where the Bears took advantage of great special teams play, excellent defense, and used the trick play, they're going to have to come back out and play a great second half to hold the lead. Can they do it? Let's take a look. Michigan State looks to jump back into the game with a 79-yard touchdown drive to open the half. Smoker goes to Rodgers on play action down to the Cal 15. And two plays later, it's Smoker to Rogers again for the touchdown. Cal 25, Michigan State 7. Under heavy pressure, Kyle Buller makes his one mistake for the day, and Michigan State gets the pick and the ball at midfield. The Spartans quickly take advantage of the gift. Smoker goes to Z Kavanaugh deep inside Cal territory. Two plays later, Cal's Wendell Hunter looks like he has the pass breakup. But Jason Randall makes the acrobatic catch, and Michigan State cuts the lead to 25-14. With MSU and the crowd back in the game, the Cal offense takes a page out of the Big Ten playbook and grinds it on the ground. Joe Igber rolls for 13 yards, and then on third and two, takes the pitch for 13 more into Spartan territory. The Bears keep it on the ground as Terrell Williams takes the option down the left side to the two-yard line. From there, Kyle Bowler keeps it himself for the score. And the Bears can taste the upset as their lead grows to 32-14. You know, we pretty much talked to the guys and said, let's go out there and let's just give it to them. Let's take it all the way down the field and show them that, you know, we're Cal football and you know, we're not going to give this one away. Probably could have pitched it, but I, you know, I'm two yards away from the end zone. I'm 225 pounds. I got to be able to get in. Got to get the six. Late in the third quarter, James Bethea comes up with his second pick of the game off of a Daniel Wang Wu tip. Our D line is putting pressure on the quarterback. Our, you know, linebackers are making plays. Secondary is making plays. You know, they're doing an awesome job, and I, you know, I can't praise them enough. Our coach expects us to make turnovers. He said at least three turnovers a game, and we should get the victory. And we want to get that every game. And the Bears in the quarter marching towards another score. Cal opens the fourth quarter by finishing the drive. To Igber, he breaks one tackle, he breaks another! He's gonna go in! Touchdown Bears! I thought one man had him for sure at about the 15 yard line. He slid off, went into the end zone for the score and the Bears lead is 38 to 14. With the game safely in hand, 
Kyle Buller pads the stats with one more touchdown to pass. Right sidelines, and it's caught by Ward. He's down the sideline, cuts in. He's down to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Bears! Oh, what a bonanza, the Bears. Put an asterisk on the victory with another touchdown play. It is 45 to 14. It was third and long. The corner kind of played me outside shade. I ran out, and then once I felt him too far anticipating my outside when I made the catch, I made him miss, and then it was just, you know, instincts from all there. And once I start running, I don't feel anybody going to catch me from behind. Michigan State adds a late score, but for the third straight week, the day belongs to the Golden Bears, who dismantle MSU 46-22 and show the nation a new era of football has begun in Berkeley. The fans have had tough, and so have the, so have the players. I mean, the players have gone through rough times also, and I think it's a, you know, Everybody's excited now and every, every, everything's going our way. And we need to just make sure that it, it keeps going our way and that you know, when adversity hits, that we you know, work through it and, and continue to succeed. Besides the fact that we know that we worked hard to, to deserve the victories, knowing that this was a nationally ranked team, we didn't have, we didn't have no doubts that we can beat them. Like normally, you know, we're going in like, you know, we got to make it a game or you know, we got to get our respect. You know, it, no, this was like, we need to be 3-0. We need to beat this team. And everybody felt that way. I could see it 